the corporate citizen. All gas and no brakes. If you want to learn how to make money, keep watching. What's going on, gang? Once again, tomorrow, the price of the corporate papers goes up. Link is below so you can get in there because we're gonna do a lot of stuff in October for the corporate papers. A lot of stuff, so you wanna get in. All right, this is, uh, once again, this is Glendon Cameron with the corporate tool, the corporate papers. This is Glendon Cameron with The Corporate Citizen. Uh, my mind's all over the place. But as you guys know, I am moving like the Jeffersons to the high rise, right? And over the last few weeks, I've been selling stuff. And the first week, it wasn't that good because I had a bunch of flaking. I kind of went back to my old skill sets and I started moving stuff, moving a lot of stuff. I've sold uh, lights, I've sold weight equipment, I've made like $7,000. And there's one little tricky item that I have that got my social scientist vibe really, really rolling. And what it is, is I have these three bookcases on wheels. I got them from Ikea, right? And they get a lot of attention and people are like, is it still available? It's still available, still available. And then one of the things that happens, I get this, do you deliver? And I'm like, LOL, I'm just like you. I'm just a regular citizen. I don't have a truck. Why would you ask such a question, right? And I begin to see something. And this is some of the stuff that's coming from my um, car rental business that most people are not prepared to make money. They're just not because, let me give you an example. How did I move hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of furniture on Craigslist? I gave them free delivery. And this is how they had reds. If you pay the price that I have posted, this includes free delivery. If you want to haggle, the delivery comes off the table. Uh, I had some people who wanted to haggle and they were like, but could we, you know, and I'm like, remember in the ad it said that if you haggle, that delivery came off the table. So if you want to get it cheaper and move it yourself, have at it. But if you want us to deliver it, you got to pay that price. And I had a lot of people was like, nah, I think I can find a better deal. And then a week or two later, they would buy something else because here's the big issue. If you want to make money, you need to be good at solving problems. And most of America is not good at solving problems. I, I'm 54 years old, will be 55 next month, doing the speed limit. And if I was driving a car and the oil light came on, you know what I would do? I would go to the auto parts store, get a quart of oil and put it in the car. Uh, some of the BMWs that I have, they burn oil. They burn quite a bit of oil. And to the point where I just started buying the oil and leaving it in the trunk, because I know I'm gonna get this call. Hey, you know, the it's low on oil. Hey, you know what, I got you. If you go to the trunk, there's a quart. Just throw a quart in there, it'll be good to go. Oh, okay, thanks, bet. And these are men. A lot of men, a lot of people due to technology, we have become so mentally and physically lazy. We have become very, very lazy, where we don't even want to attempt to think. And I'm just like, you know, I thought it was bad when I was selling stuff full time on Craigslist. There was no Facebook marketplace at the time I was selling. 
Uh, Facebook was still very, very new. Um, but I continually see that people don't know how to solve problems. And it, it's, it's like I keep seeing this over and over and over and over again. And I'm not talking about mathematical equations. I'm not talking about figuring out how to get a rocket from Earth to the moon. I'm not talking about quantum physics. I am talking about simple ass problems. You want the bookcases? You need a truck or you need to spend 60 bucks to have it delivered. Here's the thing. Not only are people unprepared to make money, they're cheap. They're cheap, cheap, cheap. It's like, I don't want to pay someone to haul, you know. It, it, it's kind of like people who load up their shopping the carts online and then when they see the shipping, they got like $3,000 worth of stuff in the shopping cart and the shipping's like one fifty. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's too much. I'm spending 3000 The shipping should be free. It should be free. And this is one of the things that people bring their online mindset to the secondary marketplace. The first marketplace is Amazon, Sears, Macy's, Publix. You go to a store or you go to someone and you buy something new. That's the first play. That's the first marketplace. The secondary marketplace, which is selling used goods. They're bringing their habits, their desires from the first marketplace to the second marketplace. So not only do they want it cheap, they want it easy, they want it problem free, and they want it delivered with no delivery fee. And this is something I've run into in the car business a lot of times, that many people want me to bring the car to them. And this is something else too. Uh, I will be doing the Kill Switch Chronicle very soon. I gotta go get a car tomorrow that I shut off. And it's like an hour away. And this, this is uh, one of the things I'm consistently seeing. Once again, solving problems. If you drive for Uber, Lyft, uh, you do Instacart, you do Uber Eats, you do DoorDash, you need to put your ass in a hot zone. I got people who live an hour away and they're trying to do DoorDash, Uber, and Lyft. And they're like, I actually had, this is the true story. I had this girl, her name is Skylar. Skylar is very hot. <laughs> I want to tap Skylar, I ain't gonna lie. And Skylar will rent a car. Skylar's rented a car for me five times. And Skylar said, man, this car is really good. I make a lot of money doing Uber. Now, Skylar lives way out in the country. But when Skyber does Uber, she comes to Atlanta. Skylar has figured out that's where she needs to be to make some money. I had another girl rent the car and she said, this car is not good for Uber. I'm, making, I'm barely making any money. I'm struggling. She has not solved the problem of trying to do Uber where it's comfortable, it's close to home. Whereas Skylar, Skylar works seven days a week. Skylar has a full-time job and Skylar will rent a car because you know, she, 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 she's a hustler, she's a hustler, right? And I'm just seeing this over and over and over again that people want, will not do what they need to do. If you're doing Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Instacart, Roadie, you need to be in the hot zone. And if you live in Loganville, you live in Collie Park, you live in Union City, those are not hot zones. I guarantee you, anywhere inside the 285 is a hot zone. You, you like, I got a guy, he's a DoorDash guy. He operates off Moreland Avenue. He does Moreland Avenue, Wesley Chapel. He says, man, I be rolling, I be rolling. You wanna know why? Wesley Chapel, Lithonia is a bedroom community. There are plenty of people who don't want to. And I, I mean, once again, how much effort is it to get in your car and go to a restaurant? Not a lot of effort. But DoorDash, Uber Eats is booming because people don't want to do it. So once again, Making money means that you're going to have to be uncomfortable. Like, I, I am not a fan of weekend rentals. And I, I will share something. Like, 
if I wanted Toro to work, I would have had to do the things that make Toro work, which I didn't want to do. Last minute bookings. I had a 12 hour window because with last minute bookings, that means someone can rent a car at literally 10 PM and then you got to get it ready for them to rent at 1030. And this is what people will do. People, when they're traveling, they will not plan. They will not be proactive. They will wait to the last, literally people will be landing in the airplane and once the plane lands and they turn on the Wi-Fi and they get to turn their phones on, they're looking for a car to rent. They will not rent a car when they're at home. No, they will wait till they get to Atlanta, open up the Toro app and then peruse for a car. And this is why so many people are unprepared to make money. I'm about to go ahead and say something else. 50% of America is unbanked. Now, what does that mean? And what, what does, how does this play into the conversation? All right, I have a personal checking account. I have like three or four personal checking accounts, one primary checking account that I use constantly. And I have a multitude of business checking accounts. Uh, Erica talked about this with her truck drivers. You got grown ass people who don't have a banking account. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why they don't have a banking account. I used to be one of those grown people who did not have a checking account. You wanna know why? Because I was in trouble. And mentally, I could not leave some money in the bank where someone can come grab it. So this is why I did not have a bank account. If I did have a bank account, I would not leave money in it. And I would go get my check, cash it, have the teller, count out that money, and then go get money orders to pay my bills. I was once a former, I'm a former member of the unbanked because my life, my financial life was trash. It was trash. Uh, it was just unregulated. And once I learned the ways, I, I, you will never catch me without a bank account. Like right now, there's a video that's going viral here on YouTube where Chase closed this woman's bank account. I don't think I have to worry about Chase closing my bank account because I have multiple bank accounts with money coming in from verified sources. So I'm not even worried about it. But once again, you have people out here. Also, this chick, she got a Chase bank account. Guess where she lives? She lives in Hawaii. There are no Chase branches in Hawaii. And once again, let, let me just say this. If you are from Appalachia, Virginia, or Tugabo, Tennessee, and you got your little favorite Honey Hole Credit Union, and you move out of Tennessee, or you move from Appalachia, Virginia, to the big city, go ahead and open up a local checking account, because if anything funky happens, you gotta wait minimum one week, up to three weeks to get it resolved, because you cannot walk into a branch. I, I, I don't, man, there's so many people that I've run into with this issue where they're here, but their credit union is in Michigan. Their credit union's in California. I'm like, be an adult, go ahead and get a local check in the gout. If something funky happens, like I can tell you, Delta Credit Union can actually make your debit card in a branch. So if you lose your debit card, you can go to the branch. Well, they used to, I don't know if they still do. But you could go in the debit, go to the branch and get you a debit card made that day. And this is one of the things that has happened with the car rental business. I had people who were in situations where something happened with their banking and they couldn't pay me. And every time I said, hey, just bring the car back, because I already know that they're going to go many, many days. Or here's another thing. I'm waiting on the check to clear. If you have a check you deposit in the bank and it takes a week to clear, you've got some bad banking history. I can put a check for 100 G in my personal checking account. I can put a check for a million in my business banking account and those funds will be available the next day. So once again, from a banking standpoint, most folks are not prepared to make money because they have bad financial habits. And these bad financial habits 
bleed over into their business activities. And this is one of the things I'm getting ready to address because uh, next month I'm starting a credit repair agency and I'm gonna start talking about banking, I'm gonna start talking about insurance, I'm gonna start talking about trust, all these other things. Right now, you've got people who have, and I am surprised at the number of folks who wanna, who, who hit me up through Cash App. Today, I had three items sell and they all paid through Cash App. People don't carry cash. And if you're a hustler, if you a real hustler, you need to have cash on you or access to cash because you never know when a good deal is going to pop up. And let's say it's Sunday, 1 p.m., a great deal pops up and it's like 1200 bucks. You don't have the cash to go get it, so you can't get this great deal. So you're unprepared to make money. And I am seeing more and more and more and more people who are unprepared to make money. So we're getting ready to get do a lot of new training in the corporate papers. I'm getting ready to add some more courses. We're getting ready to have some speeches. We got the Discord group. We got some challenges coming up in October. We got a lot of stuff that's going on. So you want to go ahead and get in the corporate papers. The price changes tomorrow. So you got time to get in, and I got some goodies, and I got some other stuff that's coming for you guys. But we're gonna start having conversations about being prepared to make money because most of America is not prepared to make money. And this is one of the things, and here's another thing. Everyone wants a lucrative side hustle. This is something you can do two, three hours a day and make five to $10,000 a month. Let me tell you, and also I will be on O'Day, O'Shea Duke Jackson show because I'm putting together uh, for a live stream. We're going to do that probably next week. And one of the things that I want to start having these conversations with O'Shea, I'm probably going to be doing some with the lead attorney. I'm going to be doing some with Anton Daniels. I'm going to start collabing. I got some mystery guests, some surprise guests that are going to be coming on. So next month, we're going to be doing a lot of collabs, a ton of collabs. So look out for that. But guys, you got to prepare yourself to make money. So many folks want to make money. I understand you want to make money. You have a desire to make money. You want to get your hustle on. But ask yourself, are you prepared? Do you have a budget? That I know that sounds crazy. But having a budget is critical to you being prepared to make money. You want to know why? Because if you have a budget and you know where your money's going and you're living within your means, that means you have surplus cash. If you don't have a budget, more than likely you're spending every dime that crosses your, your bank account or whatever that crosses your palm, every dime. You're just blowing money fast, big meat style. So having the budget, having access to cash, and also being able to solve problems, because I'm just sitting there like, every time I list these bookcases, and I had two people who were like, I'm coming to get them, and they both flaked. They both flaked. And now I'm putting in there, I'm leaving them up. Like this one chick, she's like, I, she because I'm saying like, if you want me to hold them, and you want me to take the ad now, you gotta pay me via Facebook Marketplace. Facebook, you can pay. And she's like, I don't wanna do that. And Guess what? She said she was supposed to be coming today. Gave her the address. She didn't show up. <laughs> she didn't show up. So more than likely, these bookcases will disappear this weekend. And then I got some tires. I got a lot of stuff because I am moving from 5,000 square feet to 1,700 square feet. So I got, I've gotten, you know, I got two weeks before I move. I move October 15th. So I got a little time. I got a little time and I'm going to do a video of the place before I move in. And it's probably going to take me three months to trick it out the way that I want to trick it out. And um, I'll be talking about that. The content's going to be coming hot, fast and heavy. So once again, guys, if you're not in the corporate papers, you're going to want to get in the corporate papers because we're going to do uh, first the corporate challenge. Get your holding company, get your operating company. It's going to be like a little game. And then we're going to have 
the service business challenge and I'm going to start a service business. I already started the car rental business. I'm giving y'all that. I'm gonna start a credit repair agency. I'm gonna give y'all that. And I'm gonna start YouTube training. I'm giving y'all that. So there's a lot of training that is coming to the corporate papers. I'm telling you, essentially, we're gonna have a whole segment where I'm gonna do online marketing, online training, and all this other stuff. And this is gonna be part of the corporate papers. The YouTube stuff, if you bought the corporate toolbox, you get the YouTube stuff for free. If you buy the corporate papers, I'm gonna give you a massive discount on the YouTube training. And I got a Discord server, I got, I got so many things that we're getting ready to go down. But guys, we gotta start preparing ourselves to make money. If you're not prepared, you could literally have opportunities passing you by because you're not set up to make money. And this is one of the things I'm gonna bring up with Anton, and this is one of the things I'm gonna bring up with O'Shea. You guys have got to be prepared to make money. So with that, I'm out. Go below, get the corporate papers, uh, links below, and I will see you guys in the next one.